Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you all the info and knowledge you need to know to care for your Pakistani loach and keep them alive in your aquarium. Watch the video to the end so you don't miss any information about these fish. Pakistani loach are also called the yo-yo loach which you may be more familiar with. I'll tell you why later on in the video. But without further ado, let's get started. Pakistani loach are tropical fish and they are very strange, not very common, but easy to keep and don't require a lot of maintenance. In your aquarium, these fish will grow to be a maximum of 12 centimeters, four inches, and in rare cases get to 15 centimeters, six inches or more. This means that they will need a minimum tank size of 100 liters, 25 gallons. These fish can tolerate temperatures from 23 to 28 degrees Celsius, 73 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit and a pH of 6.0 to 7.5. Pakistani loach prefer to be kept in slow moving water, although some do like faster moving water and can even play in the bubblers. They can live up to 20 years, whereas Pakistani loach will live 10 years or more. These fish are nocturnal and usually come, dr come out when you turn the tank lights off. During the day, they will hide amongst plants and vegetation, but sometimes your Pakistani loach will come out during the day after water changes or rescapes. Pakistani loach are also called the yo-yo loach because the patterning on their bodies looks like the word yo-yo. Pakistani loach mainly and are well known to feast upon snails, like most loaches. How do they eat snails, you may ask? Well, they will turn the snail upside down and dig its barbels and tiny mouth into the shell and suck up the slug-like creature inside. These fish are great to slurp up all your pest snails from your aquarium. That's the main reason why I first got them. They will also eat processed or leftover flakes and pellets, frozen foods and freeze-dried foods. And as a pick pack, they will mostly kill and consume sick small fish, but that shouldn't be something to worry about. Yo-yo loaches are compatible with any other peaceful, small to medium aquarium fish that won't chase it or nip at its fins, such as live bearers, tetras, rasboras, small gouramis, cory catfish, etc. I do not recommend keeping them with shrimp or any other crustacean or your loach will eat them. And don't keep them with really aggressive fish or they will probably kill your yo-yo loach. These fish are best off in schools or packs as they like company from others of its own kind, but that's not always the case. My Pakistani loach is doing great on its own as there are three other bottom dwellers in the tank. Surprisingly, the fish that can adapt to so easy to tank conditions at that breed very poorly in it. They are known to be incredibly difficult fish to breed. This is likely since they may swim upstream prior to spawning. Males and females are slightly dimorphic when at mating age. Males tend to be slimmer on the body than the females. Their blue coloration that come off the black bars may also be a sign of sexual maturity, but breeding these fish are still not fully understood. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you learned some new things in this video and uh, I hope you are going to go get some Pakistani loach now. They are really fun fish to keep. I definitely recommend these fish for you. Like this video if you loved it. Comment something positive down below and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!